as the world is working to learn more about the Omicron variant of COVID, a new treatment for the virus could soon be available in this country. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish is joining us to tell us more about these. FDA advisors are talking about approving Merck's pill to treat infected patients. Kayla. Yeah, that's right, Danielle. That meeting began at 9 o'clock this morning, and it's still going on right now. But if Merck's antiviral pill gets emergency approval from the FDA, it would provide a brand new tool in the fight against COVID, especially as health experts express concerns over the new Omicron variant. Today, an FDA advisory panel is reviewing the safety and efficacy of Merck's drug Molnupiravir, the first ever oral treatment for COVID-19. The proposed intended use for molnupiravir is for the treatment of mild and moderate COVID-19 in adults with positive results of a direct SARS-CoV-2 viral test and who are at high risk for progressing to severe COVID-19, including hospitalization or death. Clinical trials show the pill reduces the risk of hospitalization and death by 30% when given to high-risk unvaccinated patients within five days of showing symptoms. Studies show it works against several variants, including Delta, though it has not yet been tested against Omicron. There's currently no treatment like it approved in the U.S., but it's already being used in Britain, which became the first in the world to greenlight the drug earlier this month. To have a drug like this, to have an antiviral that's, uh, that's potent, that's able to be taken orally, uh, is a very important moment and does mark a milestone. The FDA advisors will review potential risks, including whether it's safe for pregnant women, before voting whether to approve the drug for emergency use. Now, Pfizer has developed a similar pill to fight COVID-19, and trials show it could cut the risk of hospitalization or death by nearly 90 percent. But it's still waiting on FDA approval as well. We'll continue following the FDA committee's meeting today for you and bring you the latest both on air and on WPRI.com. Live in studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.